over the process steps that you need for installation for our pneumatic retractable assembly for class for online cleaning. You need pneumatic retractable. You need a 225 millimeter probe that's got a PG 13 and a half connection. And you need some sort of control unit where it's, whether it's manual or it's automatic. And you also need some Teflon tape and a wrench and some quick disconnect um, tube fittings. We've already installed them here. So you install the PG 13 half probe into the retractable assembly and you have to make sure that you get it all the way um, tightened all the way in there because if it's not sealed properly, it won't actually operate properly. Get it in there all the way down. And then on your control unit, on ours, this is a one cleaning solution. We have 10 cables. We have two blue, a quarter inch and an eighth inch, and two black, a quarter inch and an eighth inch. And you just install them onto the retractable assembly and their corresponding um, size supports so they're nice and tight. If you ever need to remove them, you just simply push down and you can remove it. But basically these two of them, the blue and the two of the black, control the position whether it's in cleaning or it's in process position. The other two go for um, pneumatic valves that we don't supply, they're supplied by the customer. The red goes into for the drain, the yellow for the cleaning solution. If you had a two cleaning solution system, there would be a third one that would go to the other cleaning solution. Alrighty, then the last thing that you have to do is connect quarter inch tubing for air pressure into the control unit because you need the pressure in order to have it retract out of the process mode. Right now it's in service position. So we'll turn on the air. And you can see there's a red button that lights up. Now we'll change the armature since it's manual to process. Blue lights up and it's extracted from the pro or put into the process. So this is how it would normally be installed in your process. You would just simply switch it to service and then you would press the cleaning to control the cleaning. If it had two cleaning solutions, you'd have another set of buttons here. Once it's done, you simply just take it back and put it into the process mode.